but before we get started, I got some new stuff today. Nothing like super, super exciting for most people, I would imagine. But they're all games that I wanted for one reason or another. First off, I picked up... Because like, I had errands to do anyway, so it's going to be out near a game store that I really like. That I don't get to go to very often. So I stopped and I had a little bit of money that I was saving specifically to, to buy games anyways. I got Final Fantasy X-10-2 HD Remaster for the PlayStation Vita. I mean, I already own this like everywhere anyways, but like, I don't know. I like... uh final fantasy games i want to collect them so i got that i got harvest moon magical melody because i've been on a huge uh cozy game kick for one thing and also i'm just this was one of my favorites growing up and i never finished it so really been wanting to play that so i'm excited to to finally have a, another copy of that because i don't know what happened to one when i was younger um, I got Legend of Lagaya in a beautiful case. The case and the 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 inner sleeve and whatnot is amazing. It's really freaking good. The only problem is it is missing manual, so it's not quite complete, which sucks. But it has both discs and the uh, the jewel case and the jewel case artwork is all in very very good condition. It just is a little hard to close <laughs> but other than that it is good um yeah super excited for that i don't know what's the other disc because like it's two discs so like that's the game right legend of lagaya 94366 what's the other disc i don't know because it says, like, on the game itself, like, on the case, that it's only one disc. So is one, like, a music CD and the other one's a game? They both have black bottoms. They both have codes on them, too. I don't know. But anyways, this is a game that I saw somebody play on YouTube once upon a time. And I've really... I didn't watch the whole thing, but I've been super interested in the game ever since then and been wanting and i saw it down there for a good price in a really nice case and i was like fuck it i'm picking that up so i got dark cloud or not dark cloud that's the game we're playing uh today i got legend of lagaya as well I need to get that sticker off of there and then finally another game that i've been wanting to play for a long time but also one that i'm trying to collect like final fantasy 7 is uh dragon warrior 7 for the original playstation it is complete in box. It is in really freaking good condition. The discs aren't in the absolute best condition, but they're they're still pretty good, like the bottom of the discs. And the jewel case and the manual is all in really, really nice condition. So super happy about that one. It's probably the single most expensive retro game I've ever picked up. But when I saw it, I was like, I got to get it, man. I can't just like not pick it up, seeing it down there. And I've been wanting to play more of the Dragon Quest games anyways. Um, so like, yeah, got that. Super happy about it. But that's all. I didn't buy much. The games are all a bit more on the pricey side. Nothing like super expensive outside of Dragon Warrior 7. But yeah. I spent way more than I wanted to already, so I didn't end up picking up any PS2 games. I had planned on it, but other than Silent Hill 2, there was nothing there that I really, like, or... No, it wasn't Silent Hill 2. One of the Silent Hills. Other than that, there was nothing down there that I really wanted, but I didn't want to drop that much money on a single game at the moment. So I didn't pick it up, because it was like $200, which is just... Uh... This game shop prices things very fairly. I didn't look up the price of, of whichever Silent Hill game uh, it was. I'm sure it was a fair price. It's just Silent Hill games are ridiculously expensive <laughs> they're just stupid expensive like no reason for it type shit so yeah that's cool but anyways hello we're gonna play some dark cloud here in just a second but if i can find a suitable picture i'm gonna take noodles suggestion here um let's see if we can find one mm -hmm. Is there any, like, there's a beach one. Do we want to be on a beach, though? I don't think beach. Oh, here we go, on a road. Let's 
one's pretty nice. Download for free. Which resolution did it download? Will it let me download the original size for free? It will. Dude, Unsplash is an amazing website. Okay, anyways, uh, I guess I'll call this... Um... Save. Close that. Need to open this up. Click this button. And then... Where you be? There we go. <laughs> got the got the cornfields behind us and the road and the clouds. There you go. I hope you like it. Just for you. Where's my control? Last time I played, I so. this it. This is it. I got it. Okay, let's play some Dark Cloud finally, shall we? Continue. Uh, where were we last time? We were we're still clearing the same dungeon, actually, aren't we? Yeah. We didn't make it through an entire dungeon last time, so we're still working on that. But we should be very close to the end of it. And I know I'm working towards getting Super Steve. I remember that. But I'm missing, not missing per se, but we're very short on attachments. But I'm pretty sure at some point you can buy attachments. So I'm hoping to just like find that seller or whatever. What was that? Why did the screen just like turn orange there for a second, man? I can't wait until I get the, the gaming room complete. Just cause, okay, I guess it's the way the sun's hitting it. Um, but anyways, I just want to, like, rewire everything, man. Everything's such a mess, and I need to get, like, a new splitter and, um, and switch and everything for my, for my HDMI cords, and just, hopefully that'll help everything run more smoothly. I haven't had a ton of problems outside of sometimes audio just not popping up and being annoying on, uh, on the retro stuff, but on the PS3, we have issues with is it ruby Ooh. that's probably the item to open up the last area maybe i don't know what that is anyways um we've had problems with specifically pioneers of olive town with the flashing and it doesn't seem to be a thing unless it's going through the capture card um so like i need to figure out why it's doing that and fix it but i don't know if it's something i can do or if it's just that game in my capture card are just not compatible for some reason. I haven't had a problem with any other PS4 or 5 games, though, so I really don't understand what's going on. I'm hoping just, like, unplugging everything, plugging it back in, and doing it in a way that makes a bit more sense. I'm hoping that will somehow fix the issue, but that might be a uh, unreasonable hope there. A pipe dream. I don't know. I have like so much stuff in my pocket. Some of it's not even in the right place. Like my headphones are in my pocket pocket, not my little pocket watch pocket. Eh, which is just like the perfect place to put wireless earbuds. Um. Oh, we haven't actually picked our floor yet. Is that what's going on? It's been a while since I've done it like this instead of just teleporting here. I don't know why I didn't just teleport here. I wasn't thinking about it, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Layer 17. Hopefully, we didn't need to buy anything or anything before we came down here. I think we're fine. I don't think there's anything we really needed. It's just kind of whatever. I didn't think about it. Oh, you're a dude. Oh, you're also a dude. There's all kinds of dudes around here, apparently. Um, do I have the right weapon equipped? It seems like it. We almost just got shot. Oh, we did just get shot. I hate these chariots so much, man. There, you're dead. Are we trying to level up Steve now? Is that what we were working towards doing? Weapon. Does Steve have a thingy attached to him? Customize. You do. Okay, yeah. So we are just trying to level up Steve at this point. Which, he's there, actually, so upgrade. Confirm. Steve plus four, let's go. 
Now, what else do you need for your build-up still? Um, you need more MP. You still need Thunder and Holy. Holy shit, man. And you still need Mage Slayer, the Knight dudes, and the other one. How much MP is it going to require? Do we have any MP stones? We don't. Do we have Mage Slayer or the Knight or anything? We have nothing. Do we have Thunder? Mm, nope. And we don't have Holy. So then what we were talking about maybe doing is switching to somebody like Ruby and then just sacrificing one of her items. Like this one that has Holy already on it. We can equip that one and then build it up to the point to where we can turn it into a Sense Sphere and then use its Sense Sphere in Steve to just get it a bunch of MP and some Holy all in one go. And then I guess we could put some of the other little things on it if we can find them. If not, then I don't I don't know what to put on it, man. I guess like I don't know. Hopefully we just find some stuff to put on it. So let's switch to Ruby. Start using her for a bit. I don't think Ruby's too bad. I think it'll be okay. Can we please hit this with any stone or do we have to hit it or with any spell? Or is it only going to work with the right freaking spell? Only works with the right one. That's annoying. I think it's the ice one. Which is even worse because the ice one is one that we like bought. It's not like the default weapon. So that means we just kind of have to keep an ice spell on her at all times. Otherwise, she there could be areas we just can't go into, which is like bullshit. I'm assuming holy like does extra damage to you because you're a witch or whatever. A little annoyed that you're still alive. Thank you for dying. I appreciate that. Uh, anybody else in here? No, we do have a big chest, though. Yeah, it's a mimic. Of course it's a mimic. Yeah, Ruby's actually not bad. She's doing pretty decent damage, considering this weapon hasn't been leveled up or anything. It's just the default weapon. Like, it's not bad at all, man. I'm pretty happy with her. And she's a ranged character, which is really nice. Yeah, it's not bad. I still don't understand what MP is. Chugaba, what's up, man? I'm just gonna look that up real quick because it's been bugging the hell out of me this entire game. MP isn't a thing. Like, we can't use magic abilities or anything. She, like, sure, Ruby uses magic, but does that mean attack just doesn't do anything and it's only the MP? MP Dark Cloud. Search. Weapon attributes. Hit points, monster stuff, attack, endurance, speed, magical power, weapons, magical power, magic, and attribute up. That's okay, but what the hell is it? Description? No, that's inventory stuff. What the hell is it? What does MP do in Dark Cloud? How much extra damage the weapon's attribute will do? Oh. Okay, so just having a high attribute number in and of itself isn't enough to do max, like, elemental damage or whatever you want to call it. Because you have... Right, this attribute here. So it does like 20 and then it adds the MP maybe? I don't really understand how that works. But somehow it takes those two numbers together to decide how much damage that actually does. That's weird. <laughs> Why is that a thing? Why do you have two different things to determine one, one damage output? That'd be like if you had an attack power and then you also had weapon sharpness or something, you know? Nope. I don't like you, Mr. Chariot. You're a dick. I was gonna say, I know you're about to shoot again. Just shoot again. 
Oh, no, I got stuck on a wall, you bastard. Oh, and I unlocked at the same time. That was... Oof. It's fine. We can take one more hit. Oh, actually, there's a free heal right here. We'll just take the free heal. Give me. Thank you. Um, I know Zhao needed a free heal as well. I don't know if anybody else does, but we might as well go through the list real quick. Just in case. And then back to Ruby. Need to get her leveled up. Oh, actually, you know what? Not back to Ruby, back to us. Because for some dumbass reason, we're still the only ones that can open these spheres up. Divining house? What the hell? Is that like a house of worship? But no, we already have a temple. I mean, I guess there could be two. Maybe it's some kind of... Fortune teller? Like that kind of divining, maybe? Is this going to be a real chest or another? Oh, no, it's a real one. Do we have a treasure chest key? No. Okay, that's fine. Uh, trap must be an explosion. Always an explosion, dude. We got a big-ass hammer. The trial hammer. I don't remember if that's any good or not. Ooh. Blood and sweat hammer with warrior soul. It has a couple of different things. Poor? What does poor do? ABS up, I get. I'm assuming that just means that it builds up ABS more quickly. But what the hell does poor do? Is there a way to, like... See? What these things are? No. Doesn't seem like it. Hmm... I don't see anywhere to get, like, a description. Huh. No idea. Oh, well. I mean, it seems cool. I'll, if we ever get around to actually using him, I'll look it up and see if it's a weapon worth leveling up. Or, like, building up, rather. Or if we just want to dump that one, basically. Dump it into something else. Because there is, like, a whole tree. It's not randomized or anything like that. All the weapons have a set path that they follow for their level ups. Or build ups, rather, I guess. Levels are separate. So you can easily find, like, which ones you actually want to spend the time to dump synth spheres into and which ones you don't. Thankfully, like, if you dump some into one that doesn't really matter, it's not the end of the world. Because once you turn that weapon into a uh, Synth Sphere, you, you know, everything comes over still. It's just you only get 60% each time you do that. So you do lose some, but ooh. But at least you keep a good amount of it. Can we do Kamehameha with this? We can. Ooh. We also got ourselves poison, so GG me, but... Wait, can you not block magic? Ah, huh. that's really cool. Well, like, the Medusa lady at least can't seem to block magic. Normal people can. We still have antidotes, right? We didn't sell all of our antidotes. We are sorted in the wrong way. There we go. This is better. Noodle with a 95 streak. Nice. Good job. Heal ourselves, and then I guess just eat some cheese. Oh, we have some cheese here. There you go. Eat the cheese. Perfect. All better. It's already ready for an upgrade? Bro, that was so quick! <laughs> okay. Um... Oh shit, like, I want to upgrade it, but I want to dump more stuff into it before I upgrade it. So maybe we just go ahead and go over to... The Platinum Ring Plus One? I guess. Oh, I forgot to equip it. Level it up a tiny bit and then go from there. Ooh, MP plus one. That's one thing we can equip. We don't know how much more MP we need, but we know we need more MP, so... Throw that on there. Every little bit helps. Although, I mean, like, 60% of one, obviously... Ooh, damn, we almost walked right into that toxic cloud. 
60% of one is less than one, so I don't know how it, like, carries over. I guess it depends on what the whole number is, though. How did we just do, like, a mini command? Yeah, what was that about? Like a mini charge attack. Damn you, dude. Just die. Thank you. Can open the chest, but then we need to switch back to other bro. Ice? We don't need ice. That's not one we're looking for right now. We need Mage Slayer would be really good. Thunder. Holy would both be good. I would really like Holy since this one already has a bunch of Holy or well, 20 Holy. That's a number of Holy at least. I just want to get Super Steve, man. I don't even know if Super Steve is really that good of a weapon. It's just we've never built one up before, and that's the shortest path that I've seen. Right, because it just goes straight from Steve to Super Steve. So we don't have to worry about, like, doing a bunch of crap to, to get it. Like, a bunch, of, a bunch of layers, a bunch of levels. We can just focus on the one and then be done with it. Wait, are you resistant to ice? You're either resistant to ice or... Ah, you bastard. Or this weapon's a lot weaker than the last one. I'm not sure which. Either way, you just need to die. Please, Mr. Chariot. Really don't care for you. Oh, damn it, you came. You're gonna be the death of me with the stupid pop-ups when I'm not trying to and getting stuck on things. Okay. I don't know why I'm like being so stingy on my repair powder right now. It just, I don't know, it feels good sometimes, I guess, to like get the most out of an item that you can. There's one dude dead, finally. There we go. There's two dudes dead. Now your turn. One of the most annoying enemies in the game, man. That stupid fan sucks. Anybody that spends most of their time blocking is annoying, but... I'm glad that, like, stunned the mask for a second, because that would have hurt. I'm pretty sure her attacks are like, oof, big boy attacks. That one's full now too, and we still don't have anything to put on it. Uh, okay, well we're gonna need to level up Super Steve again eventually, or Steve again eventually, so we might as well go ahead and switch back to Steve and just start grinding the XP on it now. And we just have to remember not to do the upgrade until we put more stuff on it. More more attachments on it. I really don't like you, Mr. Chariot. You deal way too much damage. It is painful. I love when we get the, like, map-type items at the end of the dungeon. That's, <laughs> that's very helpful. Especially when it's literally the last two things we pick up. It actually is the last two chests in the game, or in the, the dungeon. We still have one more room to clear, though, and... Well, now I can see that there's, like, nothing there. We just need to go to it, but still. It just feels like, a. Uh, a bit cheap, I guess, whenever that happens. A bit pointless, rather, I guess. Not cheap, just, like, why? Why make me wait to the end to be able to see where things are once I have everything uncovered already anyways? Of course, it completely comes down to what path we take, right? It's not the game's fault. It's just kind of random. We don't know what's going to happen. The game doesn't know what's going to happen. 
Of course, that's all assuming that, like, the items are randomly set at the beginning. Whenever the dungeon's generated, and... Oh, you freaking dick. And not, like, whenever you open the chest. And Auntie Madu. Uh, maybe she wasn't guarding whenever the magic was going through. I don't know. For some reason, I thought Auntie Auntie Madu was another one of the ones that was annoying with guarding all the time. A hat shaped roof? Is there a hat seller? Can we buy new hats? That would be cool. I like hats. <laughs> Not on me personally, but they can be fun in games. Now, was this door different? The way down? I, I don't think it was the normal hook, right? Which could be a good sign. That could mean that we're finally at the end. Oh, we're gonna have to switch back to Shadow. Hop across the thing. I got a really good bag of salt and vinegar chips, and by really good I mean like wet with vinegar salt and vinegar chips. And I ate a handful of them last night, maybe a little more than a handful of them last night, and it like destroyed my mouth, man. I've had it happen before with like my tongue, but this is the first time- what do we do with a music box? But this is the first time that I've ever... We've cleared the whole dungeon, right? This is the first time that I ever had, like, the inside of my cheeks start to peel, though. From having too much vinegar. Is... Oof. Is rough. What the hell did we do with the music box? This is new. Did we have to, like, clear this floor to get the last couple Atla? And then clear it again? Again, because oftentimes, like you, ha you have to go to the top, put all of the the buildings down, complete the town to get the final item that you need. But I thought that was going to be the foundation. But we can't use the foundation with the music box. What else would you even possibly put in there? Gold. And it is showing this as the exit room. Huh. Okay, well, I guess we just leave the dungeon and see what we can do... Top side, what we can do with, like, laying out the town and shit. I guess. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what else we would possibly do. Go... To Queens. I need a drink. I have one. It's just like over here instead of over here where I could drink it. Oh, oh, you guys will have to let me know too. Um, I don't know for sure if I'm gonna actually put them on the list or not. But if uh, anybody wants to see Legend of Lagaya, Dragon Warrior Seven, or Harvest Moon Magical Melody, because uh, otherwise those all three are games I'm probably gonna be playing in my own time. Especially Magical Melody. Because um, after I'm done playing... I've been playing two cozy games right now. I've been playing a, a spin-off of Harvest Moon called An, An Innocent Life. Um, and then I've been playing Story of Seasons, of course, on stream. So as soon as I'm done with one of those, I'm probably going to move in on to Magical Melody. So I don't know if that's something everybody wants to see on here, or if uh, I should just do it on my own. I'm fine with either. Is this new? No. Are you new? No. Who's new? This one's new. You would fit here if it weren't for the... Oh. That replaced my road. I... I want my road back, please. <laughs> I like the road surrounding the the fountain. I don't know. It doesn't really serve any purpose, but who cares? 
I guess I can put it up here. Don't feel like it really fits up here all that well, but... Okay, Cathedral must already be down, so it's literally just you. And then we'll bring you over one and down one. And then rotate you to face, I guess, the inside part of it. If this is the last building, though, then I feel like I should bring this one over and do the same thing. Let's bring you in one and down one. And then, oop, I didn't mean to remove you. I'm sorry. You. Optijack, thanks, man. Optijack just subscribed. Is it with working? Prime. I can't hear it for some gluck, reason. Gluck, gluck, oh, because my gluck, monitor gluck, is. Gluck, gluck, Hold on. Gluck, gluck, I need to change gluck, my, my gluck, sound gluck, monitoring gluck, device. Gluck, 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 for me, gluck, I, it gluck, should still gluck, be working gluck, for you guys, gluck, hopefully. Gluck, 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 gluck. But I need it to be on when I'm streaming. There. Oh. Of course, I have. Fuck. <laughs> ah! I need to turn off monitoring for everything. I had it set up temporarily so that I could hear. Or so that I could stream on Discord, basically. There we go. So I need to turn off, like, monitoring for other crap. Okay, there we go. I should be over here now. The Gluck Gluck 3000. Are you telling me you missed the 20x Gluck? I did. I missed the 20x Gluck. My bad, dude. So sorry. I'm... I'm... Mm. <laughs> I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> that sounds absolutely god-awful, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, everybody else should have heard him, so it's fine. Lena can have her carts, and then Divining House. If you need some info, ask her. I'm assuming it's you. And you can have the sign, the cathedral. Is it the hat-looking thing? It is. And you, and now the cathedral's done. So that should be all of them, except for... The Divining House gets something, and then Susie's store. Wait! Okay, wait, you need two more things. You need one more thing. Okay, yeah. So we have this area complete once we, we talk to people. Which, I mean, we might as well start doing now. Hello, Lena, Lana. What are you going to sell? Fruit? That would just be for fishing, right? I don't know what else fruit would be for in the game. Uh, Some fruit you can use as a weapon. Like, throw them. Here, this is my gift for you. A gooey peach. I think that applies, like, the gooey status when you throw it at someone. It's a thing. Oh, good. We got another free gooey peach. Exactly what I wanted. I'm probably just going to sell the gooey peaches right back to her, to be honest. Thank you for the sub, by the way, man. I think I said that already. Do you have anywhere you want your five votes to go? I would assume Mass Effect, but we were also talking about, like, uh, that Future Tactics game when we were out. So would you rather go to that? Doesn't matter to me, my guy. Whatever you would prefer. I don't think that allows time to be stopped or advanced. I don't know, I'm gonna sell it. Sims 2 Pets, obviously. Not nah, Mass Effect, please. You sure, man? I can put it on the Sims 2 Pets. Like, that's, that's okay with me. I need to switch my account. Uh, there, there we go. Okay. Do I have Sims 2 pets? I actually don't remember if I have that one or not. I think I do. But maybe not? Control F. Sims. I have the Sims, the Sims 2, the Sims 2 Castaway. Bust now. I actually don't have the pets yet. Pets one. That's the, the last Sims game I need. Is that one. I'm gonna put it on Mass Effect. Calm down. Games to complete. I am a little bit surprised you didn't put it on uh, 
whatchamacallit, on future tactics, but is your votes? Mass Effect, there we go. 280 now. Is getting up there, dude. It's one of the highest voted games for the next game to complete. Not the highest, that would be Resident Evil 4, I'm pretty sure, but still. Is up there. I don't think we had anything else we need to sell to you, and I definitely don't want to buy anything from you. Really? Hello. Just redeemed hydrate. What is on my bottle? I did like a real quick mo job before I hopped on stream after I got home from errands. So there's probably like some grass and weeds and shit on me right now. It's fine. <laughs> That's probably what was on my bottle, too. All right, no, we don't need anything from you. Goodbye, you. Isn't there another stand? This one. Did we complete yours yet, or do we need to talk to you still? My name is Susie. Pleased to meet you. Any requests for your place? So water, so I need lots of kegs. She's a water dealer? <laughs> really? Okay. Interesting. Uh, Two things. One... I think she needs turned around, right? Yeah. So move. You turn your store around. And then... I guess you probably get the keg. Oh, keg and the urn. There you go. Now you're done. So that means... The divining house gets a snake? What does... Why does she need a snake? I don't know. That just makes me uncomfortable. Why are you making out OptiJack cry? Because it's fun. Have you ever tried it? You should. It is great. <laughs> He's my brother. I'm allowed to be a dick to him. Wide variety of water. Welcome to the store. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you live in like a desert, a water store would be really nice. But like, I don't know. Name Susie's isn't quite right. I've been thinking about it for a while. Wait, did I just offend her? I didn't realize. I was just clicking through dialogue. Fighting watery, magical watery, freshen up watery. Magical watery. There you go, dude. That's the new name of your store. I would have just went with Susie's if I had realized what we were saying, but... She gave us some free water. Awesome. But even though this is like a desert town, there's a river going through it, and there's a fucking ocean right outside of town. So it just seems a little bit like, I don't know, wild to me. Oh, you sell thunder and stuff. I might go ahead and buy a few of these. You're not the shop I was looking for, I don't think. I need a few hundred more dollars, though. Um, But, like, how much do you buy premium water for? 60 I don't want to sell my bombs. They're very handy for bosses. I guess we don't really need the soap. It's pretty rare that anything happens with soap. I do want to keep the antidotes, though, because that happens fairly often. I guess we're going to have to sell another chunk of gold. And then buy one, two, three, four, five, six. Damn it. <laughs> we don't have enough money. Sell a fish. I don't need a fish. Buy another holy. There we go. There's two more rounds of upgrades. So now we can go to weapon. Not you. We were doing ruby. You specifically. Equip. Customize. Oh, damn it. I didn't need six. I bought one too many. I forgot that we were putting an MP plus one on it. Oh, well. Whatever. There we go. And then upgrade, yes. I mean, I guess we could have taken the MP plus one off of it. But we don't know how much MP we need either, so it's nice to have the extra junk on it. There we go. So then that one's ready for another round of upgrading. And then Divining House. We need to go talk to you. And then I think... Hopefully we're done up here. I'm, I'm assuming you'll give us 
Mage Slayer. That's another one that we need. Anyways, um, I'm assuming you'll give us whatever we need for that weird music box that we found down in the dungeon. Oh, more Mage Slayer. And a another gourd. Gourds are nice. Cheese? Who doesn't like cheese? Cheese is nice. Are you just gonna be like, oh boy, you have a bad omen about you? Be careful. I'm Yaya. I'm the town fortune teller. Good to meet ya. Um, mm, I didn't mean to talk to you. Need anything for your place? Trademark is the snake. Okay, we'll give you a snake. Watch her just be like the person that lets us store stuff in this town. If there is one, maybe there isn't one in this town. Speaking of Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced, didn't I just buy something? No, I think I was thinking of buying the DS Tactics game, but I didn't yet. I think that's what happened. Just getting myself a little confused. I bought Final Fantasy 2 on the PSP. <laughs> I did that, but that's whatever. Honestly, these days I would probably just play the PC ports of the Final Fantasy, like classic Final Fantasy games. In my opinion, those seem to be like the best ones once you change the font. That's for whatever reason, the American English font is just garbage. You have it in no DS anymore? If you don't want to keep it, let me know. I will give money for it. <laughs> I don't expect you to just give it to me. I'll give you a fair price for it. Oh, it's you. Look at this. My divining house has been completely restored, and I owe it all to you, young man. I'll tell you your fortune for free of charge. Come visit me anytime. Okay. Can you tell me my fortune then, I guess? Oh, you're back. And what part of your fortune do you want me to tell? Where is the moon orb? Give me orb. Well, let us begin. Are you ready? Jesus Christ. Wait, what? Bro, this is... Hold on. This is... Not... <laughs> Pumpkin panty fortune telling. Here we go. The fuck is this? Dude, this is not what I agreed to. The price is 300 votes on pets. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I don't know if you're memeing or if you're being serious. Oh, that's a fruit merchant looking strangely at some kind of a ball. Carrying it away somewhere. Oops, that's it. Wait, the fruit fucking lady has the moon orb? That was not expected. Anyways. If you're being serious, I'll agree to it. But like... <laughs> it's not... It's not what I expected though. I guess where's the dark genie? I'm scared to have you sit on my face again, lady. But... Not even like, it's not even just sitting on my face. She's straight up just like jumping on top of it. Look at that. Like, she's just fucking crazy. <laughs> Who tells fortunes like that? It's, mm, I'm uncomfortable. That's all I'm saying. Ah, uh, there it is. This is some castle, like some kind of giant haunted house. You mean the thing from the intro of the game? Yes. That's agreeable? You got yourself a deal, thank guy. Hold on, here. We'll do it, we'll do it live. Just to, to prove it's done. I mean, I guess you could just check too, but. Um, games to complete. Women OP. Pets, dogs, two. It's currently at 91. So 391. <laughs> there you go, man. <laughs> Hopefully that was visible. I don't think it was behind my camera. Yeah, yeah, no. It's there. There you go. It's now the top voted game. I hope y'all are happy. <laughs> it's garbage, dude. <laughs> oh, is this who they call the Dark Genie? Uh, who, oh, who's this? Looks like he's saying something. What a huge yawn. Bruh, I'm traumatized. I thought the Dark Genie was going to hop on this dude's face. Now I'm not going to lie. The guy's talking, planning on destroying another town. Huh, that's all? Okay, well, that seemed a little pointless, but... What do I know? Okay, I'm taking a nap. I don't blame you, man. Have a good nap! Dark Cloud, in my opinion, is a great game to go to sleep to. It's like... 
even though it's a action adventure game or whatever you want to call it a dungeon crawler it's very i don't know it's very slow it's very chill it's a weird action game wait is she gone or is she just closed maybe she just closed because of time of day none of the other stores closed though hmm the fact that all of her fruit is covered up too though makes me extra so oh no she's back okay i guess it was just a time of day thing what a moon orb what's that i've never heard of it well you sure as hell had it a minute ago that pretty here mixed up in all that fruit let's see now i wonder what i did with it i think i gave it to someone who asked for it at the market don't remember who i gave it to sorry i've been forgetful lately sorry about that bruh i don't think i believe you did you give it to this lady well there's another chest it's another gourd so many gourds i'm guessing it's not you since you didn't automatically like life is just a collection of memories i wonder how many i can collect that's a little deep for my dark cloud dude oh my god the camera in this game okay well it's none of you guys we don't have any market people down here so this is the only other stall Rudy's the fish dude hello there's a snipe fish called junior chief in the undersea treasury give junior chief fresh fish and he'll take you to a secret place I wonder what kind of place it is so you're just telling us how to do the thing uh okay wait what is this the leaning tower what is the point of it anyways i don't know whatever the last thing to do is to go here so hopefully this is the person from the market they gave it to Oh, your stream! I've been waiting for you. Thanks to you, this legendary cathedral is now back to the way it was back in the old days. Thank you very much. Just a little something to show my appreciation. If it can be of any help, don't hesitate to ask. Holy acquired. I mean, okay. I will need that eventually, so thanks. By the way, stream, have you heard the story of the curse on this cathedral? For a hundred years, we didn't have any weddings in this cathedral. In Queens, nobody wants to have a wedding here. It's because any couples who had their wedding here always end up separating. That is the curse cast over the cathedral. Okay. This is a story my grandfather told me. hundred years ago, this town was a kingdom ruled by a queen called Lasaya? Lasaya was only 18 when she ascended to the throne. The people all trusted her and re revered her as a great ruler. This is to say nothing of her beauty which words could not describe. The radiance of her smile made all around her happy. Then one day she fell in love with a young man in town, the queen and a commoner. It was only after the town was asleep in the night that they could meet. The two hid their love from the world for a long time. Finally, they decided to have a wedding ceremony. Yes, in this very church, deep in the night when all were asleep. But on that night, the groom did not appear, as was promised. Dressed in white, she continued to wait, believing he'd come. Night after night, she'd continued to wait, but her lover never came. The loss of her one love was too much to bear, and one night she threw herself in the ocean. That's when the curse began. Since then, all couples that married at this church eventually ended up leaving each other. What do you think? Isn't it sad? Now nobody even visits this cathedral, but I will keep protecting it. Someday this curse will be lifted and many loving couples will swear their eternal love here until that day. Now, stream, please excuse me. Still doesn't tell me how to open the damn music box. Why don't you visit the Divining House? I mean, I kind of already did visit the Divining House. It didn't... Fuck. <laughs> what else do we do? Huh. Okay. We can't go... Huh. I'm lost. This is unexpected. Are there any more events, like any that I missed? I mean, we can stop at the other stores, I guess. No. No more events. Okay. So let's go to Jack's store. We could go back to Joker. Hello. Rumors that there's ghosts in the shipwreck. Yeah. So I've heard. 
Do you have any stuff in here while I'm here? Stuff for dudes? Nothing? Oh, Mimic Breaker. Kind of useless to me, honestly, but I mean, we'll take it, of course. Do we just go back to the Divining House? Does she give us new info now that we talk to the fruit seller, Lena, or whatever her name was? Maybe that's the trick? I mean, I guess we'll stop at Joker's first. If he'll let us in, he will. Wasn't sure if he would or not. He's not the biggest fan of people, it would seem. Hello, Joker. She has regular attachments. You can attach 12 kinds of gems to weapons. Did you know that? Gems increase multiple attributes. Find them, use them wisely. Yeah, I would love to find gems. Wait, can you actually attach, like, these gems to weapons? So maybe, maybe you're the seller I was looking for, then. So we go to weapon. I don't think we can, though, right? Customize. Yeah, no, it doesn't, it doesn't show up on this list, so no. It wasn't you. Alright, well, we wasted our money on that, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. So I guess... Oh, there's the dude outside of town, too. It could be him. There's a chance he had the holy... Or moon orb or whatever this whole time, right? Um... Where's the man whom the queen loved? There we go. That's something new. Is it the dude outside? Is he like somehow a hundred years old? I just feel like that dude outside has to have some larger play in all of this, you know? And then just having a random shop outside of town. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm, I've seen this before. Oh, that's right, it's Rando's store. It wasn't Rando who eloped with the queen, was it? No, that's impossible. It was a hundred years ago. Couldn't be that old. Something's glowing. What is it? So he just has, like, an item from whoever it was that was meant to? Maybe that's what we use in the music box. There, that's it. Guess that's where we're going then. Go talk to Rando. And hopefully this like not Easter egg hunt. What's it called? Oh, words are escaping me. Man, you get like the clues and you mm, brain no work. I guess go back to Queens. Must went out the wrong entrance. Bruh. Is it an Easter egg hunt? I don't know. I'm an idiot. It's also like... My tongue's bothering me at the moment. There's that too. I have a salt and vinegar chip problem. Which is a vinegar problem in general, to be honest, but... but it tends to do this much worse whenever I eat salt and vinegar chips than just something with vinegar on it. I think because, like, vinegar is a liquid, it doesn't sit in the mouth as long, so it doesn't destroy it as much. Whereas this one brand of salt and vinegar chips, man, they're just... Oof. Big fucking oof. They just tear it up. Sometimes. Sometimes you'll get a bag, and it'll just taste like salt. Like, there's nothing else on it, man. No vinegar flavoring at all. And then other times you'll get a bag, and it is the most powerful thing in the world. It's terrible. In the best way, though. If you like salt and vinegar chips, I guess. What are you gonna do? Gonna put this paper in this music box, and then lock it. 
This box is our promise to each other. You keep the music box and I keep the key. It takes both of us to open this music box and without us both, we can't read the message inside. What did you write? Ah, that's a secret. When we finally join as one forever, that's when we'll open this once again. Oh, he has a key for the music box. Okay, what the hell's in the music box? Also, where did Rando go? Unless, like, is there a chance Rando is the same dude and there's he's not, like, quite human? He's supernatural in some way and that's why he didn't want to marry the queen because he didn't, like, deserve her? Maybe he's a vampire. I, don't, <laughs> I have no idea. I just... For some reason, I feel like it is actually him. Annoying that we have to go back through the same dungeon we just went through to find it, though. At least until we find that room again. And yeah, we couldn't have done this beforehand, because we had to get the Atla from here. To unlock, like, the, the lady and whatnot. Capacow, hello, sir. Do we have the right weapon equipped? We do. Good. Good, good, good. If you want to just, like, keep struggling with that staircase instead of shooting me, that's fine by me. Hate these stupid dudes. Oh, thank God. Oh, there's another one. We could just ignore them entirely and try to find the exit. That is a valid, like, thing. But we do need to level this weapon up. I really want to get at least one, like, final tier weapon at some point. And I've made it my mission for it to be Super Steve because he's just <laughs> the most ridiculous of weapons. Is there another pirate chariot coming? <gasps> oh, that was close. Oh, and actually we might end up having to kill stuff anyways now that I think about it. Depending where the door is, we might need the key. Oh. There's another one over there? Dude, why this enemy specifically? They deal so much damage. And they're ranged attackers, which isn't fair! <laughs> I should be the only ranged attacker, man. They don't need this power. Might as well check the chest. You never know what you're gonna get. Could be a mimic, could be something good. Probably something useless. Like, whatever that is. Was that... Is that bait? Where'd it go? Is it a... It's not a weapon, right? Is it an attach? What? Bruh, where did that fish go that we just picked up? There it is. Favorite of sea fish. Fishing bait. Yeah, okay. It's just fishing bait. And that's what I figured it was, but I didn't see it the first time I went through. So I was like, is this some kind of weapon? But I don't think you can get weapons from small chests. I don't... I was very confused. We got the map. So where's the exit? Oh, that's right. The oh, it's right here. Dude, dope. Let's go. Um, I'm going to take the free heal and water refill because we're, we're both thirsty and have taken a bit of damage. So, And honestly, besides the chariots, the monsters down here really aren't all that bad right now. And they're worth decent experience on the uh, on the weapons. If we find another chariot, though, we probably are just going to ignore them. Especially since we're so close now to where we're wanting to go. Just want to take the free health refill, please. That's a chariot. Yeah, screw the chariot. You're not worth it. Goodbye. So we put the thing, or the key, we use the key to open the music box, we read the note, and that breaks the curse on the cathedral, 
and then maybe the cathedral has the moon orb? But I'm assuming there's going to be a boss down here too. And where the hell does the foundation come from? The makeup, like where does that come into play at? That's got to be used for something here. Saya, I wonder how many years later that you will be reading this. <laughs> Long after she's dead, apparently. The opening of this music box signifies us overcoming our different status in society and joining as one. But I know that we would never be blessed by all to be together. But still, the two of us, two of us from the future have decided. The place will probably be a church at night, just the two of us. There would never be anyone blessing your future with a man of such low status. It is I, from the past, I send these heartfelt words to you. Congratulations, your majesty. Hmm? I've been waiting for you a long time. Here, at the bottom of the ocean. Oof. Ice Queen Lissa. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Ah! I mean, okay. So she's like, did she turn evil because she was mad about losing him? Why is she trying to kill us? Uh, what's the gimmick here? Oh. That was something. No effect. How do we... How do we damage you? Can we block that attack? Oh god, I'm still... How do we block again? Bro! <laughs> what do we... How do we fight you? We need like an anti-freeze amulet? Okay, so we can block it, but we still get frozen. Oh, and then something, like, falls on us. That's what deals the actual damage. How do we hurt her? Will bombs work? I saved a bunch of bombs specifically for this sort of thing. Okay. Did that do anything to her? I can't. It, it is damaging her. Revival powder used. Time also seems to be frozen. Oh, we missed. I wish I had any idea how much like health you had. How much health does Ruby have? She has some left. Okay. We need to heal people. We need... I, I don't know. Oh, not you. Who else has, like... Zhao's fine. You have a bunch of health, so let's give you one. And then... I guess fix me, too. That's not me. Here's me. Do we have, like, an antifreeze thing? And do we have more revival powder? We do. Okay, so equip that in case we die again. Give us a bunch more bombs, because... Oh, okay, our actual weapon is working now, or at least it was. Do we have to use a bomb to break her shield? No effect. Why no effect? What did I just get hit by? I must have like ran into one of the the thingies. How do we stop ourselves from getting frozen? Does it have to be magic? Is that the only thing that damages it? Uh, 
Oh, you're a bastard, lady. Okay. Uh, heal again, I think. Shit, I really wish I would have saved, because all our bombs are going to be used up, and we're probably going to use the lose this fight. Do we have another revival powder? We have escape powder. We have stand-in powder. We do not. I mean, the holy gem might work. Yeah, we can't, like, block attacks or anything either. Bro! Is, is anybody unfrozen that can run away from this attack that we're about to get hit with? No. Can you, like, tank it? No, you cannot tank it. Goro is nearly destroyed. Yeah, no shit. Um, you stand in powder. Switch to... I guess it really doesn't matter who. We're just going to have to throw bombs at her. We were frozen before we could even move. That's... Bro. <laughs> mm, when did we save? I'm not sure when we saved. I really don't want to lose all this stuff. Oh my god. Let me free! I'm not even frozen. There's nothing here. Damn it, I ran into something that time. Uh, we just have to, like, pray that it's only going to take one or two more bombs to kill her. You stand in powder. You, if we don't die first, we're dead. Okay. I don't know how to fight her. I have no idea what we're doing there. I couldn't deal damage with her except for like that one random time. It doesn't say when, like what time. It just says our play time. Well, what's our play time now? I just want to know, was it before or after we went through the dungeon? Well, whatever. We have two saves, so, like... Is there a soft reset in this game? There's not a soft reset in this game. That's fine. I have a remote for that. Restart the PS2. Let's let's reload. <laughs> I, I don't want to lose all of those bombs if we don't have to man i was thinking like so we break down the shield somehow and then we'd be able to attack her but that didn't seem to be working either there doesn't seem to be any way to block the ice are there like pillars in the room maybe we can make her Ice attacks hit something else? So that we don't get frozen? And then she, like, casts Blizzaga on us or whatever. Makes icicles fall from the ceiling at us, but... Mm. I mean... There's definitely some kind of trick, right? There's something we can do. I'm just not seeing what. Either way, we're definitely saving before we go back down in there again. Okay, so edit mode. Eh, diorama menu. Okay, yeah, so we still need to do all of this stuff, but it was after we went through the dungeon at least. So we just need to run around and talk to everybody. We can do it quick this time, skip the dialogue. Uh, sign. And then you, and then the hat, and then you want the snake, but I can't give it to you yet. You want the two fruit thingies, and we can't give Susie her stuff yet either. Let's go straight to the cathedral so we can hear that story first. Oh wait, I didn't place the stuff yet either, did I? No, I didn't. Okay, that's fine. 
here on the menu. Move. Not that it really matters, but I do want to keep the setup that I had, roughly. There. And then I feel like one of you was meant to be flipped around. Is it Lana? It's probably Lana's store. Because that looks like a stall. There we go. Okay, Cathedral! Oh, we did also pick a bunch of stuff up while we were walking around too, huh? Sucks to lose that stuff. And we bought a couple of things. Oof, okay. It's fine. It's worth it to not lose all of the stuff that we lost, all the bombs. We can't just like skip the cutscene, can we? No. We can click through it quickly, but we can't skip. Have I heard the story? I have, actually. I'm working on killing her. Well, <laughs> well probably not actually going to kill her. It's probably just going to, like, bring her back to her old self or whatever. Save her, basically. I'm still super curious why he decided not to show up, though. Did somebody find out and stop him from showing up? Or, like... Did he get cold feet because of the whole them being different, coming from completely different world type of stuff? Like, what was his reasoning? That's what's bugging me more than anything. Okay, nothing in here. Nothing hidden outside of the camera view. It's super annoying that the game does that. Okay. Under the town cop, whatever. Nothing outside over here, at least. There's this, which we might have missed last time. Maybe not. I seem to remember getting Sea Killer before. Could buy some stuff again if we wanted to. But honestly, I don't think it was worth it. Because we just bought a bunch of holy. But then we ended up getting a bunch of holy, anyways. Which parfait? Is that for Ruby? Can we finally upgrade Ruby? Ruby's favorite. Let's go. Okay. There you go, Ruby. Take some extra defense, dude. I guess we have to wait for morning to go back in here. Um, not that one. Wrong button. Back to walking mode. Options. Time speedy. What are option two? Oh. Just whatever. Okay. Far side soft focus? Background is soft focused. Sure. On. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> we'll enable it because why not? Anything else just like chilling around here anywhere that we can pick up? Doesn't look like it. Okay, that should have you open now. I don't remember what it was that we got from you, but I know we got some... Aw, oh, you don't open yet? What time do you open? Are you like an evening-only shop? What kind of shit is that? If I had known that, I would have just went to the other shops first, to the carts. I guess we still can. I don't know how long it's going to take. So we need to... Need to do you real quick. Big assembly. Give Susie her stuff. And then talk to her. And this time, maybe select the other option. Today is my grand opening. Wide variety of water. Welcome to the store. Uh, I was just wondering, can I ask you something? Yes, of course you can. When does the question actually pop up? Been thinking about it for a while. Is it? There you go. That's the other option. Really? It is? Okay, it'll stay as Susie's. There we go. That's what I wanted. Your shop name's fine, dude. You don't need to change it. 
We get the same thing either way. Works for me. Please come visit Susie's again. Look at us go, dude. Leaving our impact on the world. Helping to name a random water shop that I don't think we're ever really going to be visiting again. Because honestly, why would we? Probably turn the time back on slow again. Just so, like, we don't end up having. Ooh. Maybe. Maybe this cart was already facing the right way. I don't know. Anyways, but so we don't end up, like, finishing everything and then going to Rusty's and it being the wrong time of day again. But it should definitely be open by now. Thank you for the gooey peach. I will end up selling that right back to you. Store open. Here. Buy some of my stuff. Oh, I forgot about the stamina drinks. I guess we don't need to sell the soap now, since we're not trying to, like, buy a bunch of holy. You sell revival powder. How much? A hundred? Buy a bunch of it. <laughs> we'll take that. That seems like a good trade. Nothing else I want to sell, though. Yeah. Uh, screw the soap. I'll sell the soap. And we have what? Didn't we get a Mage Slayer somewhere from someone? Was it Jokers? I don't know. We need at least one more. Maybe it was from... Oh, where is the thingy? Have I not even put it down yet? I haven't even put it down yet. Okay. Oop. I think it was from in here, actually. There's a mage slayer. Okay. Weapon... Clip, attribute, not attribute. Customize. You can have a holy and a mage slayer this time, I guess. There we go. Not quite the same thing we did last time, but close enough. It's three things we need and a free level up. Alright. Crazy fortune teller lady. Need anything? Cool, you need your snake. Go outside, give you your snake, have you jump on our face, and tell us the story of the music box, basically. I think that's everything we need to do. Oh, there was stopping back at Rusty's for something, because he had a box or two in his place, but I don't think I really care that much. But maybe... I don't know. Tell me my fortune. I don't know which one I just picked. So hopefully it wasn't the Dark Genie one, because that one seemed pointless. The other two both, like, actually helped progress the game, I think. The music box one, the lover one, definitely did. Clearly, but the other one I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, this is the Moon Orb one. Which I'm assuming helps progress the game somehow, but... At least as of now, the lady's just like, oh, I'm not sure where I put that thing. And that's all the info we got. Alright, tell me my fortune again, yeah, yeah. Man who loved the queen, or the queen loved. Whichever. Both? Hopefully both. I feel like he probably had some sort of reason for it. That we'll discover. 
beyond just the whole feeling wrong for being like a lower class than her. All right, cool. Go talk to the lady about the moon orb. Go to Rando's. I guess we'll stop at Rusty's too. Because it might have been something helpful. I just can't remember. And then... I guess we need to turn your shop back around. Honestly, it would be best, like... Sideways? But I have the other one facing this way, so... I mean, no, that's facing good enough. It's fine. I need to just stop worrying about it. It's not that big of a deal. It's not like we're ever going to come back here anyways, unless we have to for story reasons. Fruit doesn't seem like the most useful thing in the world to me. Some free repair powder. That's nice, I guess. All right, teleport to Rusty's before it fucking closes again. This one. Not upstairs. In here. He didn't sell anything useful, I don't think. It was just... I thought he had a box in here. Mimic Breaker. Okay, it wasn't anything useful. Not even a little bit. But whatever. We picked it up. So that should get us right back to where we were. Minus Randos. Which is this side of town? Yes. Downhill. Oh, that's right. We can't can't teleport to the main strip. Which I don't really understand, but it's not that big of a deal. Time progresses out here too, I didn't realize that. Yeah, not that it particularly matters, it's just... Mm, weird. Like, why? Doesn't seem to serve a purpose out here. Alright. I'm glad games eventually started just putting cutscene skips and everything. Also, I'm getting a little hungry. We might have to take a short break just to go grab a snack or something. I'm tempted to turn around and grab more of those chips behind me, but, like, <laughs> that honestly sounds like a terrible idea. I'm sure I'll be doing it later tonight anyways. Save. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter which one at this point. We'll save over that one. The one where we died. I can't... Oh, there we go. Go to other areas. I'm trying to go into the select menu, and that's not how you do it. Teleport to shipwreck. If we're lucky, it'll have the exit right near the entrance again, because that was handy. And if we die again, I'm just going to look it up and see what the secret is to this lady, because I just don't understand it. I mean, if there is somewhere you can buy, like, an anti-freeze amulet, I guess that would be a huge help with it, but I don't know. Oh. Um, I mean, we have nothing equipped on this, so I guess we won't worry about upgrading it right now. Yeah, no. Here we go. He in the dude. One more cutscene and then back to the place. This is not at all what I was expecting, man. <laughs> like, the music box thing is sweet, and the music's so, like, soothing. And then you're teleported to see her. And then she turns around and looks all normal, and it was like, okay, cool. They're gonna be, like, reunited or something. And then she just turns freaking evil on us, man. 
Do we just give her the makeup? Does that make her like not evil anymore? I guess we could have bought a couple of healing items too, like health healing items. That would have been smart, but all we have is cheese. Uh, we shouldn't need the auto repair powder right now. But we do definitely need La Bombs. Can we have more than one revival powder? We can't. That's lame. There are pillars, but do they block the attacks? Oh, that did work, didn't it? But how do we... How do we hit her, though? Because ranged attacks don't seem to work on her. Right? If I switch to, like, Ruby? Yeah, just no effect. So how do we dodge this stupid ice attack? Yep, that worked well. can't throw bombs that far. Super Steve, or Steve I don't think had any effect either. No, could, oh wait, it did have an effect that time. So wait, so maybe sometimes it's just magic and other times it's just physical? Don't you think her voice is strange? Sure, whatever. Okay, so now I'm assuming it's just magic since she doesn't have that weird shield thing up anymore. Okay, that's the secret with her. That's not that bad. I think we can handle this. Okay, give us a heal in case we get hit again. And then... Screw up our inventory sorting. Good job. And repair powder. Repair powder, repair powder. Oh, we're actually running low on repair powder. He switched back. Annoying. How much health is she gonna have? Oh no! I couldn't see around the thing! Such a beautiful person with that voice. Maybe we should... Okay. Let that one go, and then... The farther away one actually seems better, because we'll have more time to dodge the attacks. Back to Ruby. I wish there was a quick character change. Oh, she put the shield back up already. Back to the other one. Okay. At this point, I think it's just going to be a matter of, like, who runs out of freaking repair powder first, me or her. Or, well, <laughs> her health or my repair powder. I'm assuming every time she's hit, she changes back to the other one. But it just, like, takes a second? No, I guess not. Does she make, like, a sound or anything when she switches? Any way for us to know? No, I guess not, because she switched already. Oh, we need to heal. Jow. Jow. Food. Congrats. And then I guess put this food up there now. The premium chicken. The premium. Uh, no! <laughs> Bastard. Um. Can we, like. Back to Zhao. Okay. I'm curious. Can we break out of it this way? We can. We still got hit. <laughs> you have the shield up? I can't tell, honestly. 
Oh, she's still frozen from when she got hit before. Well, this time if we die, it's not that big of a deal. We don't have to do the whole reload, but even if we did do the whole reload, like, it's still not that big of a deal. Because we saved right before we came down here. We would just be wasting, what, revival powder, I guess, and food. We'll probably reload for the hell of it. Nope, shield's back up. Okay, I think the last two shots had no effect. I didn't see damage numbers pop up, at least. He switched again. I really don't care for the bosses in this game, man. Most of them either are just gimmicky or annoying. I actually kind of liked it better whenever it was the stupid <laughs> quick time event rhythm game bosses. Switch back. I seem to only be able to get like one magic spell off before she switches back, but I seem to be able to shoot her multiple times. No, oh, sir. Hydrate, you got it. Let's go. To Jack, just this might take hydrate. a minute. We're gonna need a drink. I was gonna make a milkshake and drink that, but do a shot. But that's what I was getting ready to say. I can't, cause I gotta drive to your house. <laughs> Set off that fucking firework tonight, boy. I don't know if you thought I was joking, but I wanna see something go boom. If you're gonna set it off tonight, then yeah, I'm fucking coming, dude. <laughs> I'm stopping down. We're gonna set that thing off. Oh, switch back. You don't even think it explodes? I don't care. I wanna see that shit spark then, boy. This is so freaking... Why? Why won't you just die, lady? I'm assuming you need to switch back already. Yeah. At least I figured it out, man. I'm really happy about that, honestly. I thought for sure we were screwed. I'm just gonna have to, like, throw a bunch of bombs at her and hope that it was enough damage to kill her. and then shoot. Might as well shoot twice even though I don't think they're both gonna hit anyways. Wait for the explosion and then do it again. I wonder why Steve keeps saying don't you think her voice is strange. I feel like that's a hint at what's like going on here or something but I don't I don't know I don't quite understand it. Oh wait did I miss with the spell? I didn't see damage numbers pop up. There it is. Oh, that was... Oh, that was a little too close. That was dumb. I don't know why I shot off two anyways. None of them... Or the second one never fucking hits. Thankfully, she doesn't really seem to move. She just kind of stays over there forever. Help does this lady have? Just die! Oh, 
wonder if we did have like an antifreeze am amulet or something if we would just be like completely mute. Oh, does her magic spell like disappear as soon as we switch her? Maybe that's the problem. Okay, well the second one still didn't hit, so. If you want to do more of like those whirlwind attacks, that's fine by me. There's like absolutely no way that's going to hit me over here unless you come over here. Oh, wrong dude. Oh god, lock back on please. Oh, bah, 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 bah. So how's everyone doing tonight, man? We're uh... <laughs> Jesus. This is taking forever. Just die, lady. Was that it? That was it. Let's go, dude. Finally dead. <laughs> Didn't even need the bombs. Yeah, my bitterness lives on. <laughs> what? Okay. Here, take this foundation. That'll make you happier. <laughs> I don't... Where does the... Uh, where does the freaking thing come in? Like, looking at food and Burger King? Are you wanting Burger King? I'm down for some Burger King. I'm getting hungry myself. I'm thinking of coming down and grabbing some muffins or something, because I just need something in my stomach. I've always wanted... I wish I was able to return to that day. Huff, huff, huff. Sorry, I think I'm a bit late. Oh, so he tr tried to come or about to get the, oh, there's an Irish place? I didn't even know there was one around here, man. Immediately realized that after you were gone, eternal life, it was meaningless for me. I was waiting all along. I was certain. I thought surely you would come, but you did not come. As time passed by, my heart became cold. I've been kept alive for a hundred years by that sphere now, but living without you is like a world with that time stopped. Wait, so she has the moon orb? About as if I was left all alone in a desert. But like, if she has the moon orb, then how did the lady have the moon orb? I was never bitter towards you, I just wanted to see you. Bruh, if you get the Diggy Burger, you gotta let me know what's in it. Just one more time. I want to I want I want to see this diggy burger <laughs> like So I know you won't forgive me now but please believe me when I say I've always say no more I know it's all right you're here now aren't you Saya dot 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 I'm sorry stream here this is for you Is the moon orb is the moon orb you were looking for it. A fruit vendor found it and gave it to me. I never needed it, but I kept quiet to lead you here. Huh? Oh, so it is Rondo. He's the one that had it. I suppose I ended up using you. I'm sorry. I need you to win back Saya's heart. It's time for goodbyes. Thank you. To Wan. Ready, Saya? This will end it all. The end of a long, empty time. Let's go back together. Oklahoma Smash Burger? That sounds pretty good. They have three wraps for like seven fifty. What like um like chicken wraps? Chicken chicken ranch wraps? That sounds pretty good. I wouldn't mind like a whopper and some chicken ranch wraps. Those both sound good to me. Oh. They don't have ranch? Wait, what's on them if not ranch? Bro, I'm getting hungry. Seriously, after this cutscene's done, I'm gonna go grab some muffins or something real quick. <laughs> I'll be right back, because we're gonna keep streaming for another hour, but like, oof, I need something in my stomach. Wait, is that it? Okay, so now we must just take the moon orb back to the to the people, right? Is his shop still open, or is it like closed for good now? What happened to the shop? I gotta check now, because I'll forget if I don't.
Yeah, I guess it's just closed for good now. I mean, like, there's a shit ton of other merchants in this town, so it's not like we needed another shop here, but still just weird to me that we just, like, go. Buffalo, Royal, and Honey Mustard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe I won't get the wraps. I don't know. I mean, like, Buffalo probably wouldn't be bad, but I don't know. Their dicky is a half pound burger with red fox cheddar, Guinness barbecue, and crispy tobacco cut onions. What's a tobacco cut onion? That I've never heard of. I've never heard of red fox cheddar either, but I'm assuming that's just like some kind of brand or I'm in the wrong town. I'm assuming it's just some kind of brand or like special type of cheddar. I don't think that's going to be anything too weird. But fucking royal... Or crispy tobacco cut onions. So they're fried if they're crispy. How's a tobacco cut? Yeah, tobacco cut onions. They cut the fucking tobacco with... Or <laughs> fuck, the onion with tobacco? It's like half tobacco, half onion? I don't get it. Tobacco cut... Onion. Tobacco onions are crispy deep fried onion slices coated in seasoned flour. Um, they get their name from their curly appearance and tobacco like color. Oh. Okay, so they're just fried onions. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's okay. This is the one. We can now move the moonship. Shall we go now? Pierogies with burger. I freaking love pierogies, dude. I should buy some pierogies like, to make. Maybe it's an Irish thing to call them that? Maybe? Oh, here we go. Are you ready? So freaking ready, dude. Toto Chop Rum Mandarina Lucky Cookie Zucchini. That's, uh... <laughs> That's what I said, all right. Just sending a beam to space? Is it like a teleportation thing? What what be this? Wait, is this the moon? Bro, there's a civilization on the moon. I knew it. Damn astronauts, they were lying to us, man. Oh, they're calling sausage bangers? Yeah. Maybe it is just an Irish name for fried onions then. It's probably like a specific way they're cut too. Because it said something about like their curly appearance. Hmm, that's strange. It's not working. Wait, what? That big beam of light there didn't mean it was working? Moonship is not reacting to the orb. What happened? Nem, sir, could it be that something's gone wrong at the Sun and Moon Temple where the moonship is stored? What could go wrong? Well, uh -huh. Sun and Moon Temple was a sacred place where the ancient king of the moon, Bamalumba Hamalumba, went to his eternal rest. If anything happens, it's our responsibility. Yeah, but it's our duty here on this planet to maintain the Sun and Moon Temple. If anybody finds out that I neglected our duty, I'll be dismissed. We have to do something or else we can't stay here. Deported, probably. I like it here. I don't want to leave this planet. Theo, do something, please. Say it like it's so easy. I haven't a clue what to do. Is me? I'm the one that's probably going to have to fix things for you? Guys, just keep on talking, huh? We have to go to that Sun and Moon Temple. Stream, let's go. Yeah, exactly. I don't think I have a choice but to go to the Sun and Moon Temple, so... Uh, the mayor, Theo, will accompany you. Wait, did we really just get another follower? I didn't expect to get anything from this village, to be honest. I thought this village was going to be, like, completely useless. Oh, that's how we get there. We teleport. Oh, was that what it was showing us on the moon? That was like the sun and moon temple or whatever. Okay. So that's just like a power source for the ship?
weird, okay. Do we have to build this place up like we do other towns? And then from here, let us go. Danger inside the temple. Hello, random man. Want to stay alive, turn back now. Is okay. I don't really want to stay alive. <laughs> I'm all for dying. Let's go. This temple is full of monsters. Evil from the sky did it. There's no doubt. The village too. He destroyed it. His evil strong. No one can defeat it. Must be the dark genie, meaning that Muskalaka was destroyed too. Oh, Muskalaka is village of the sand warriors west of this temple. Are you from Muskalaska? Yeah, I, uh... Oh, okay. So this is a person that we get. We don't get the little little Theodune. Not a very strong warrior. Couldn't protect the village. It was my responsibility. I was the only one who survived. It's so shameful. I know that name. The name of the strongest of the Sand Warriors. Cool. Not cool at all. I'm weak. Too weak. Come on, let's go together. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Dude's down and depressed about himself. Okay, so we don't get him yet. But it seems like we will soon. Cool. Okay, so can we, like, build up this place here? Doesn't seem like it. Is there, like... I wonder how many more vi actual villagers... Villagers. Villages! Fuck! Villages are just gonna be that we have to, like, build up and do stuff with. I don't know. I'm gonna go grab my, like, uh, the muffins or something real quick, though. So, I'll be RB. Uh, damn it. Oh, shit, dude. That hurt. I forgot about the dive at the end of that. He's gonna follow that up with Red Dawn, yep. And then he's gonna do his lasers. And then maybe a dive? Maybe not. No dive. Okay. Oh shit. Right into Embroil though. Far so good, my guy. Okay. We know what to do here. We've dealt with this a million times. This is nothing new for us. No dive, no dive. And Boreal? No embroil. <laughs> what you dancing to, Noodle? Cheering me on? Well, thanks, love. I appreciate your support. Boy, okay. Oh, no. Okay. We're fine, though. I need to remember to use the uh, stone skin. Actually, you know what? Use it now. Okay, 
halfway there we've used half of our regular potions 100 bits holy shit noodle thank you love There's that 50,000 we were looking for. I appreciate the spoilage. Thank you, love. It's the motivation we needed to finally kill this dude. Hopefully. <laughs> No diving. Yep, there. Okay, embroil. Oh. All right, I'm back. Hey, my muffins. They were just like the mini muffins. So it didn't take long. But I need a drink now. Hmm. Oh. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got fucking issues, man. Jesus Christ. Okay. Anyways. Moving on from my brother sending dick pics in Discord. Not his actual dick, to be clear. <laughs> like, I would hope he wouldn't tell me, hey, check Discord after doing something like that. I'd hope he just wouldn't do that, but that was the real one. You might want to see a doctor, dude. The whole thing ain't supposed to be fuzzy like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyways, with that weird moment out of the way. Oh, weird. It changed time of day, but it didn't, like, go up into the sky and shit like it usually does whenever we're in a town. Maybe because there's nothing to actually, like, update here? You're wearing your moist shirt, too? Of course you are. That doesn't surprise me at all. I'm surprised you're not wearing your daddy shirt. Just wear both. All three of them, man. Layers, like I said before. That way, if one of them offends somebody, you can just take it off and wear the next one. And just swap them out. So what, we're really just like instantly back into another dungeon then? Yeah. Is it a full one? I think it did say something about like being deep in the temple, didn't it? Yeah. And we are getting Atla, so maybe we're building up the sand village that was destroyed. Can't wait until you have parent-teacher conferences and you forget what shirt you're wearing. <laughs> you gotta wear the don't bully me, I'll come one. That's like the only right answer. We need to switch the bombs out now. Oh, this isn't annoying. We have to do them one at a time. there and nope not that one and that one and last one okay so i want to put the auto repair powder back in case we screw up and have a weapon to get destroyed on us if you have a polo underneath and the collar up over the t-shirt it's very professional it sounds professional i think maybe you would be a good choice for here because of the holy yeah i'm assuming mummies would be like weak to holy is there water on this moon? Is this a moon or are we just in some random desert? I was led to believe we were on the moon, but I'm not actually sure now. Because the fact that there's like people li living up here, was that just called a secret path key? Because that's dope, dude. Why can't like all of the items we need to get into the back rooms just be called like secret path key? Just be straightforward with it so I don't end up selling half of them. Mm, 
repair powder. That's revival powder. We might... Oh, I forgot that we were running low on repair powder. We need to buy some of that. It's fine, though. What is... Oh, okay, it's a Zhao moment. I was very confused. I didn't see the, the... Excuse me? I didn't see the thing in the middle of it. So I thought, like, I thought we just couldn't cross. I was very confused. I need to take a look at weapons. Because we're using, what, Steve right now? Yeah. Steve still needs more experience. Um, you need a bit more. But are you customized? No. Do we have... We do have a Mage Slayer. We can give you that. We have any Holy or Thunder? We do not. So we only have one thing for you right now. So maybe we should just keep working on Super Steve then. Funds increased a little. Oh, nice. Looks like a fly this time. Yeah. I mean, I guess that was a fly of sorts. It's uh, a weird ass looking fly, dude. I don't know what kind of fly Steve's coming across all the time. That thing's massive. Fire acquired. Mm. We don't need fire right now. The geriatric teachers hate millennials and Gen Z parents. I'm pretty sure they hate everybody, so it's fine. Is this a pool of water? Or are there actually... Is this a pool of water? Yeah, I guess so. Hell yeah, man. They have water on... I, I think the moon? <laughs> I'm still not positive if that's where we are. But I think so. Road, okay. So yeah, we're definitely going to be rebuilding this desert town next. Bro, these enemies are... I mean, granted, sure, we're on the first floor, but so far, these guys are a lot easier to kill than the ones we were dealing with in the last dungeon. These guys are honestly, like, nothing compared to them. They're weak. And before we come across, like... I don't know, some kind of god tier monster. Oh, nice, okay. More stamina on our weapon. I realize Steve hasn't been stealing anything lately. I wonder, like, King Slate? Is that what we need to go down to the next level? What was I saying? Oh, I wonder if it's just, like, harder to steal, like, the farther we get into the game. Or if it's just coincidence? That bed is done drying. Do you think she's still going to be scared of it? Only one way to find out, right? Throw it at her and see what happens. <laughs> maybe don't actually throw it at her, but... Maybe sit it down and then put her near it? Or in it? And see what happens? There's no way to actually know if that's what she was scared of anyways. Basically, what she's talking about, we came home earlier from, like, some errands and some shopping and whatnot. And uh, we got a, a pet bed, and it's like a furry brown donut-style pet bed. And uh, for some reason, one of our cats that's usually not scared of anything just freaking, like, booked it across the room. Like, ran and hid. It was weird. Because that's... I've, we've never seen her do that before. Like, whenever there's a sudden loud noise, like a sweeper going off or something, or turning on or something, she might, like, run out of the room, but she usually just comes right back like nothing. And starts to confess, investigating, because she's super curious and not particularly scared of stuff. So it was weird when she just started running away. My best guess is because it's, like, a... 
brown furry thing. She thought it was like some larger animal. That's my best guess. I don't really know though. So yeah, just like introduce her to it slowly and see what happens. Oh, you're still alive? I thought he was dead, dude. The way he like fell over. And then I even tried to shoot again. Not like on purpose, just because I was mashing the button. And uh... Like we weren't able to hit him either, so I thought, yeah, okay, he must be, he must be dead, dead, dude, the big dead. Katie doesn't seem scared, and not Charlotte is coming, and now Charlotte's coming to investigate. I think you mean, not not Charlotte. Yes, okay. Yeah, maybe she'll like it. Maybe she was just surprised. Didn't expect a, a big furry brown donut bed come charging at her. Okay, so this is the back room, which there was a time when I really wanted to search the back rooms. We probably should, actually. I was gonna just not, but they could have like good attribute items or attachments, whatever you wanna call it. And we do really need some, man. Quicksand is churning. The coffin is about to drift away in the quicksand. Okay. So climb in. Hunker down, making a wide circle around it. I think she'll get used to it. And then she'll probably like it. I just gotta give her a bit of time, that's all. It would be dark in here, huh? What are you? A whole ass golem? Oh, you're much stronger than most other things we've dealt with, huh? Nothing Steve can't handle, but like... Are you gonna drop anything? No, nothing. Yeah, I mean, they're slow. They have a lot of health, but... Oh good, he gave us repair powder, because I kind of forgot that we're quickly running out of repair powder. And with how many shots these dudes are going to take to kick, we're going to need it. Alright, give us something good. Some good attachment, please. That's not a good attachment. That's not even an attachment. It's just... Garbage. <laughs> a poisonous apple. Basically a rotten dude. How much experience do these guys give, though? Oh, so we can't fight them in there. Dude, he'd be freaking out, though. Bro, if we can keep stealing repair powder from these, though, that would be amazing. Guess we can check, right? So we're at 102. I'm assuming this room is just going to be, like, filled with, with freaking golems. Hello! Let me hydrate. Attack you just got it. Hydrate. Mm -mm -mm. I do be thirsty anyways. Nice drink is... It's a little too cold, but it's good. Where are we at? We are at 102. Okay. Murder this dude real quick. Shoot him with our little pebbles. Zhao has huge eyes. Steve is weird. Okay. So 102, and we went up to. Oh, he's not dead yet. He hasn't despawned. There we go. 110. So that's only 8. It's not actually that good of experience either. We could skip killing the guys, but if they're going to keep dropping repair powder, then it's probably worth it. Thunder gem, though. Is that an equipable? No. Damn it. I got really excited, man. I was like, ooh, maybe it'll give us the thunder attribute, but like more than a normal one will? No luck. 
hopefully we come across that shop that I think exists soon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I read something on the internet about it existing. And obviously everything on the internet's real, so like, it's gotta be somewhere. The magical shop that sells the best items in the game. Endurance plus one, meh. More repair powder. Yeah, dude, we're getting one from like every single one of these dudes. Hell yeah. Oh, hush, Steve. You're fine. I'm gonna fix you now. Bet she wouldn't be scared of a Squishmallow one? Yeah, probably not. So I don't think she'll stay scared of this one either. I think it's just a temporary thing. Maybe, like, her original owner had a brown dog or something. I don't know. Ooh, dragon ones. Fancy. What if one of them is scared of dragons, though? Maybe they won't want a dragon one. Ice. That's gotta be equipable, right? Not that we need it, but yeah, okay. Hello Kitty one, but it's white. Yeah, that doesn't sound like the best idea. Hmm. It's bugging the hell out of me. There's a piece of skin and it's not coming off. There we go, I got it. Sorry, I'm gonna like, turn off the camera for a second. Katie's sleeping in the bed already? That's cute, good. I'm glad at least one of them is enjoying it. Hopefully the other two will as well. As long as they don't start like, fighting over it or anything. If they start fighting over it, that would be a problem. Once or twice, I think. <laughs> Try not to too often if I can help it, of course, but you know. Every now and then I come across them. Well, I mean, if one of them hates it, then, like, she probably won't fight over it, right? So then it's just a matter of whether Gary likes it enough to fight over it. Okay, well, Steve can be upgraded now, but we don't actually want to upgrade him yet. Topaz. I think gemstones were, like, special ones that we could insert, right? Antigu amulet. That's, we're just going to sell that. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, you don't have anything in you. But yes, look at the Tobaz. So what does it do? Oh, okay. It gives us the undead dudes, at least. And that's something that we need. We can just attach it directly to this, probably. Does it do anything else? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Well, I mean, it also does, like, flying creatures, but we don't care as much about flying creatures. But we still need some more stuff for you, right? Yeah, because we didn't get, like, anything. Damn, dude. All right, well, this dungeon's done anyways. We're just going to go have to buy some stuff, I guess. I was really hoping not to, but is what it is can't avoid it forever if the game's not going to give it to us. We just have to spend money on it. So we need to do... We need to do upgrades, and if we don't, like, maximize the efficiency of it... Well, not maximize. If we don't at least try, <laughs> then I feel like we probably won't be able to build up Steve. Because at some point, the game either, like, has to stop us from upgrading something or leveling something up... 
or it'll just become like prohibitively expensive to do so. Unless there is that powder that you can get, the special powder that just instantly fixes, or not fixes, that instantly upgrades something for you, levels something up, a rare candy basically. I guess we could get lucky and come across one of them. If we did that, then we could like upgrade again and again every time we came across it. Or just spend a long ass time grinding out a level. Unless the game does limit. That's the thing that worries me the most, is that there will be a limit of like, you can only upgrade six times or something, you know? Ew, all the monsters respawned when we left? I think we knew that happened and I forgot. Cause I'm pretty sure it happened before to us. It will give you the tablet. I'm assuming that's what you want. Key to the door, yep. Wait. Okay, leave dungeon temporarily. So now that we unlocked a couple of things for the sand village, can we go there now? Can't leave him, go on stream, I'll catch up. I have some more to talk with. Failed as a warrior, I'd be useless in a fight. Can we like travel to his village? Is this his village? I honestly thought we were like forbidden from going here, but no, I guess not. Sick. And it's just a big empty area? What is that? Oh, this is a building? It's, oh, maybe this is his hut. Since he's still alive, maybe his hut's still like here? His house is still here? I just saw this thing. I thought it was like some sort of weird chest or something. I didn't realize it was actually a, a thing. Is that a, is that a box? Huh, yeah, there's a box here. Fluffy donut, hell yeah, dude. Gib. I like donuts. Eat more defense, please. Honestly, I'd rather defense on the other people, just because I might like the other people more, but. <laughs> Forgot to select a dressing for your side salad in the actual restaurant contact you asking if you want any dressing. That is cool as fuck, dude. Hell yeah. It's nice whenever people care, you know? Oh, there's like, we didn't actually unlock anything yet. <laughs> we just, <laughs> damn it, okay. Um, well, never mind. I guess we just gotta go back down into the dungeon again. Oh no, wait, we need to buy stuff. Holy shit, I almost forgot. Okay. Ah, how do we, there. Go to other area. Who sells? Hmm. Is there any in the no room village? I don't remember who sells what. I need some holy or thunder or honestly, probably like mage slayer or something would be even better. Cause like, I think we're probably gonna get enough MP whenever we synth sphere our current weapon. And I'm hoping to have enough holy after synth searing our current weapon. But I'm still worried about like the mage slayer, the metal slayer, that stuff. You saw Dragon Slayer. So no. We can sell while we're here at least, right? Sell you that. And that. And that. An anti goo amulet. Anything else to sell? I really did go overboard with those uh <coughs> revival powders, eh? Mm, I guess that's it. We'll buy another one of these. I really wish they stacked. I really wish the items in general stacked. That'd be so nice. He does sell holy and thunder. They're pricey. I don't want to buy them if I don't have to, though. I really want Mage Slayer or something. I guess I could just look it up, like. Let's see here. Ah! Uh, 
dark cloud. Where's the the da, da, da? Forgot how to use a phone for a second. Dark cloud. Where to buy attachments? They're just like a list of all of them and where to get them. Okay. MP. <clears throat> Uh oh if we had changed the name of that water place then they would sell different stuff to us they would sell mage slayer and We don't need Sea Killer and Undead Buster. Well, that sucks. <laughs> is it? Um, yeah. Shoot, so wait, is there nowhere to buy them then? Okay, what well, was there? Mage Slayer. Okay, Joker also sells Mage Slayer, though. Thankfully, there's nobody, like, <clears throat> she's not the only person that sells it. And then we need, what was the other ones? Not item. Weapon. Uh, build up, not upgrade. So we need undead, mage, and metal. Undead, you can buy from the fairy king? It's the fairy king. Uh, oh, that's the dude that's been like helping us around. Yeah, but. Um. Oh. He's the one that sells us, like, good stuff. The real good stuff. But, not until, like, the end game, it seems like. So, wait, there's no way to buy undead busters, then. That sucks. And Metal Breaker can only be gotten from the MP exchange. So we're just going to have to, like, upgrade weapons that already have those attributes and hope it's enough, I guess. But we can buy Mage Slayer at least. Well, I guess maybe we should focus on the other ones then. Maybe Thunder. Where do we get Thunder from? Right here from Gaffer's Buggy. Okay. Damn it. If I had known that the Water Shop, like, naming it something different actually changed stuff, I would have... I thought it was just a name, man. That's rough. Alright, well, sell that, even though we just bought it, and sell another one. Um, I guess sell another chunk of gold, I guess. And then let's buy a few holies. Might as well... Are we maxed out? We're maxed out. Okay, that's fine. Alright. Uh, Weapon. You, Steve. Well, we'll wait on that. You. Customize. You can have... You already have, like, a bunch of holy, right? Yeah, so I was just dumping more holy on you. Try to maximize the amount that we get whenever we turn you into a synth sphere. And then, what's your attribute? Ice? So you probably only have ice, right? Yeah. So you're kind of useless. What about you? I really don't want to level up these guys, but 
You do have a little bit of Metal Breaker. You have no Metal Breaker. I don't want to get rid of this one. I kind of like it. You have nothing we care about either. You have a tiny bit of Metal Breaker. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna suck. We're not getting rid of the Wise Owl Sword, period. You have nothing. You have some undead. So maybe we'll equip that to try and remember what we're doing. You have nothing. And you have some metal. Oh, okay. Um. I guess we were focusing on you, right? Yeah. Customize your fool. Okay. Well, let's go back and do another round of dungeons then, or whatever. We should have time for one more go. I can't believe, like, I, I can believe that I screwed that up, but I can't believe I screwed that up either. I just, never in a million years did I think giving it a different name would change its inventory. I thought it was just going to be a name and that's it, and we didn't have to worry about anything beyond that with it. Boy, was I wrong, eh? Okay, need a level one. How are you? Oh, you're actually pretty good, too. Like, we're probably wrong to even be focusing on Steve so much, because, like, her magic seems just as good as Steve, just minus the ability to steal. So it'd make more sense to, like, focus on her, or maybe the main character, or something along those lines, but it's just, I don't fight with the main character if I can help it, because he kind of sucks. Because <laughs> he's melee, and melee in this game is just rough, man. Blocking just doesn't seem to work. I'm sure I'm misunderstanding something, to be clear. I'm sure it's better than what I'm giving it credit for. But every time I try to block someone's attack, I just take the full hit anyways. Dodging is not great. I'd rather just, like, avoid the enemy entirely by using a ranged character and then not have to deal with it. definitely use some more speed on a magic. That's the one thing that what's her name? Zhao has going for her that we don't speed. I don't want to get too close because since you're called Bomberhead, yeah. I say you're probably going to blow up. Ooh, free water? Many thanks. This dungeon's being very kind with its water. healed and drank to onward then. We already found the exit. This is Oh. This is bro. You just smash it with his hammer. Or mace, whatever he has at the moment. Bro, smash it, please. There we go. God, that was much harder than it needed to be. I'm assuming you'll poison if we get hit, so... Let's just not get hit by you, eh? I... Ran past the chest? I didn't even see it. I'm blind. Wind and... Not helpful for us at the moment. This does seem like the type of place where you might get cursed a bit, eh? Ice, also useless. I just realized that we're almost full. We might want to equip... Yeah, we are full at this point. So we might want to equip some stuff on people, even if we're not going to use them right away. 
just so it's out of our inventory. Like... Mm. I give you... I mean, endurance is always nice, but once we sense fear you for what I want to use you for, it's not going to be useful. I guess I'll just put the stuff I want on it. I don't want to, like, sell the other things. Because, like, we're probably going to want it eventually, right? I like this one. Let's just put some endurance and stuff on it. Noodle, thank you for the five bits. Appreciate you. Because endurance is always good, and I don't plan on breaking that one down right now. I'm going to be using you eventually. So I guess we'll put some holy and stuff on you. And then I'm gonna be using this one eventually too, so again, here have some have some things. We can just take them off if we decide not to use them. I think the bone rapier was a pretty good one too. Uh, sure, endurance on you. Oh. Thunder one. And we have the two weapons, and I think I already... Okay, whatever. We have space now. That's all that really matters. Uh, not as much space as I was hoping, actually. Never mind, back to weapons. I know inventory management is like everybody's favorite thing in the world, but I need to clear space. I can't help. Customize. The trial hammer was. Is this one that we were gonna be using to break down? No. So you can have. Uh, I don't know. You'll be good with ice. Because we have a bunch of freaking ice. And I don't think you have anything right now, so why not? The Bucks hammer, we customized you. Frozen tuna, we customized you. Mallet's kind of pointless. Did you? Did you? You're done. You. Wise Owl Sword. We should at least see what does the Wise Owl Sword need. Endurance Attack, Special, Thunder and Holy again. Why does everything need Thunder and Holy? Birds, whatever that is, and plants. We have plants. This looks like it could be a bird. Yep, bird. And another bird. Oh wait, no, we're only going to be doing two because we'll be putting a sense sphere in the other spot. Never mind. You have stuff already. You have stuff because we plan on using you. You have a tiny bit of ice. And you... Oh wait, no, we don't even need ice. Never mind. So the bone rapier is useless to us then. Yeah. So we can just put whatever in you. You have a little bit of ice already, so let's just feed that. Although that makes it feel like we have a bunch of things that are good with ice, which, you know, probably isn't for the best. You have some metal dudes. And some holy, actually. Uh, we do plan on using you eventually. We don't have anything else to feed you, though. So tell you what. You can have... Some wind, and you're just gonna be like a jack of all trades. Congrats. Anything? Nothing. What a dick. Hey, a map! That's always handy. Honestly, I'd probably rather have the other one more, though. The one that shows us where all of the stuff is, instead of just where the walls are. The only, like, helpful thing about knowing where the, or having the map is just knowing if there's somewhere we can, like, drink from a watering hole. Because otherwise we still need to explore all of the rooms anyways. So that we can make sure to get all the Atla. And chests. It's nice to collect all the chests. Speaking of, 
chesty boys. Oh, speaking of again, there's the magic crystal. Good timing. I think what I probably will do, if I get the hanger in to play this game at all, before next week, I'll probably go to one of the easier dungeons and grind out, like, the other weapons, get them leveled up a bit, the ones that have things that we could potentially use on Steve. To get Super Steve. That sounds like a person, maybe? De Devia? 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 Jabubu? That could be a person, too. Oh, there's a chest. Don't, don't skip the chest. We need those dudes. Go to the back rooms again, or do we skip it? I think we're going to skip it this time. It ended up being more or less pointless last time. There's a chance, I guess, with all the extra chests that we get one of the thingies that we need. But, like, just as good of a chance that we don't get anything useful. Just a bunch more golems. Although, they gave us repair powder since we were stealing from them. Where is that? I really wish Ruby here could steal as well. That would be handy. So that we can keep leveling up her weapon, but also stealing more and more repair powder at the same time. So what, do mummies just have like a small chance that sometimes they just revive themselves? Is that how this is working? Because it seems like they die, they fall over, like their health hits zero, they fall over, and then suddenly they just get back up sometimes. Okay, you have all useful stuff, upgrade you, yes. Customize, we don't have anything to put on you, right? Nope, that's fine, we can steal it from... Mm, probably not the steel hammer. Steal it from Steve, two of them. And then. Is it Sandbreaker that. I think that's weird. Gladius? Yeah. Yeah, screw it. Steal one from you. Can we use triangle? No. Hoping there's a way to like quick deposit them over here, but no luck. Oh, it also increases attack and speed, I guess, but we don't really need that on Steve. I did not mean to repair that. Hopefully it needed it and we didn't just waste it for nothing. Um anyways, yeah, I guess Steve didn't really need that, but the attribute boosts are oh, what I was concerned about anyways. Noodle, are you still around? If you are, you can go ahead and order the food whenever you're ready. If you want to order it. If not, I can do it whenever I get done here. But after we finish this dungeon, we're going to wrap it up for the night. and Go get us some food. And hopefully blow something up. Or at least watch it spark. If that's all it does. Here, easy enough to murder job dying. Oh, the bomber head. You're a little bit annoying, but you're not that good bad. Just gotta stay away from you whenever you go boom. Yeah, I guess those dudes, you really couldn't even fight them with um, melee, could you? Because you would just take a hit. Presumably a pretty big one. Explosions, my experience, explosions tend to do a quite a bit of damage to people. So attacking them with melee just sounds terrible, honestly. Like a real bad time. Oh, there we go. Okay, good further. Uh, leave dungeon, because we're going to call it. I don't know if we'd have time to go through another one, and it's basically 9 o'clock anyways. So, yeah. If y'all doesn't worry, I'd be useless in a fight. Okay, so he's still... He's still sulking. That's fine. We'll deal with you later, I guess. 
Anyways, guys, thanks for coming and hanging out while we played a little bit more of Dark Cloud. I do appreciate you all being here. I should be back tomorrow night to play some Baldur's Gate 2 with my brother there. And we're slowly but surely making our way through that game. So until then, have a wonderful night, everyone. Thank you again. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye, y'all. I gotta find my right screen here. Hold on. There we go. Bye. Baldur's Gate. The ball spawn. <laughs> Some bullshit. When you get caught in that stuff, man, you get caught in that stuff.